everybody. Welcome back. It's me, Miss Sharp, and today I'm going to teach you how to start making a composition using the program Soundation. Later in this year, you guys are going to be making your own projects and composing your own music, but today I'm just going to get you in there and sort of show you how to work inside that program. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you need to go to soundation.com in your browser. You'll need to log in if you aren't already, and then you're going to click on Studio. You'll be presented with this screen, and today we're going to be creating a blank project. On the left-hand side, you'll see channels 1, 2, 3, 4, a synth, a reverb, and a delay, which we're not really going to be using. We're just going to use channels 1, 2, 3, 4 today. So I'm just going to right-click and delete those channels just to keep those things nice and tidy. Let's start with the Electronica starter kit. And if we scroll down, we'll see tons and tons and tons of loops that we can choose from. So let's um, start just by showing you, you can just click on things to hear some sounds. Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot, so I'm gonna click and drag it over here to the beginning. Of course, we want to add other sounds in there um, and sort of play around with what sounds good. So this is where you really have a lot of freedom in your music to just find different sounds that you like and listen to it a bunch over and over. So let's find a bass here. Okay, let's add that bass in at the beginning of it and see what that sounds like now. All right, not too bad. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to layer it. So I'm going to drag it over to the where they sort of start. If you hit control and you mouse wheel in, you'll be able to see it a lot bigger so you can make sure things are lining up correctly. Let's go now and add because we want at least four different sounds today. So let's find some drums or percussion that we like. All right, so there's a clap. I'm going to add this clap in with my organic synth here and we'll hit play and see what that sounds like. Okay, so a couple of things I'm noticing, and this is exactly why Soundation is really cool, is that you're going to hear something and you're going to be like, mm, I don't really like it that way. So what I'm actually going to do is I feel like this is taking up a long time. So I'm going to highlight both of those just by clicking and dragging over both of them, and then I'm going to move them over to half as much. So they're now going at the end of measure four. I'm also going to take this loop and I'm going to extend it so that it keeps going. Say to there. Let's add, let's see, what does this bass sound like? All right, good enough for me. Let's click and drag that in. We've really staggered these in. These end at the same time. Let's see what all of that sounds like. So that gives you a really basic understanding of how this program works. There's a lot of other things that we can do. We can change the volume, we can add panning, and all sorts of stuff that we'll get into later. But for now, that's good. The final step is saving it. So let's go over to the right-hand side of the screen, and you'll see this little folder. Click on that guy, and then we're going to hit Save As. And you're going to title your song, your last name, and then your first name. So my last name is Sharp. See, I've already got one in there. Christine, and we're going to do hyphen soundation project. So now that it's saved, there's a couple of different ways that we can share it. If we go over to this little arrow button, that's our share button, we can export it. We can export it as a wave. So if you wanted to download it onto your computer, that's how you would do that. But today we're going to publish the track. So we're going to publish, normalize, publish. 
we can edit the track info. So here you can select what genre it is. You can write a little description about it. You can allow comments or not. I'm going to disable comments because people on the internet can be mean. <laughs> Uh, you can add an image, so if you wanted to make your own art to it, you could totally do that, however much you wanted to put into this. Then you're going to hit save. And now up here, if you click on it, ta-da, here's our link. You can either just copy and paste the link up here in your browser, or you can hit the share button, and that'll give you that link as well. You can share it to Facebook and all these other things if you wanted. So that's your little introduction to Soundation. I hope you found that helpful. I'm really looking forward to hearing your different compositions this year and getting into some different aspects of composing that we haven't really been able to inquire before. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Reach out if you have any questions. I'm here to answer them and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.